So today we'll be doing a deep dive into one of the most talked about projects of Dubai right now, which is a townhouse project. It's located in Damak Hills 2, uh, which is roughly 35 minutes away from any of the major locations in Dubai. Uh, it's called Violet 3, which is the third phase of this sort of townhouse uh, project here uh, in Dubai. Let's go ahead and have a look at what this looks like. Okay, so here we are. Um, this is the kind of the look and feel of the project right now as you can see it's it's a townhouse so you've got this is the corner townhouse here and you're seeing well they don't really have a pool I guess this is something which you can add on to later um, but very nice design architecture here very clean uh, feel so here is a little bit of the top floors as you can see you got nice balcony areas terrace areas at the top as well Okay, so you've got your parking out in the front and then at the back you've got some garden space. Uh, the good thing is there's lots of like balcony terrace areas as well here. Uh, and the whole thing is designed like a community, so which you're going to see more of. So again, loving this, especially when it's good weather outside um, in most of the months, let's say in about seven, eight months of, of the time apart from the four months of summer, uh, which is mainly June, July, August, September. And then after that, in October onwards, you're starting to ha enjoy the outdoors more and more. So here you've got, so this is what you see as the garden on, on, on the side here, um, which you can enjoy. So they, they show you a little bit of the community. So you've got like, like you know, boating rivers as well. Um, you know, you can do paddle and, you know, uh, those types of water sports. Here's a location. So basically, this is, this is where uh, it's located at right now. Um, let me see if I could zoom in here a little bit. So, yeah, so it's right you know, right here, sorry, this is the wrong location, so it's here, Damak Hills 2, um, so right off of Al Qudra Road, you're just driving down, and then you're just making, you know, a left turn here, and you're going to see the whole community right there, you've got space and science world, Hamdan Sports Complex, so it's, it's very, it's very, uh, you know, I would say, near to the other things that are coming in at this time, so, uh, I would say still in terms of location, it's not going to be, of course, prime location, but of course the price reflects that. The price is just starting at around 2 million, well, 1.9 million, so around $510,000 roughly. Um, so at this price, a four bedroom townhouse is very, very hard to find, uh, especially by the mock. So here, as you can see, uh, this is how the community is sort of built out. So you've got all this sorts of sports area here. And yeah, let me just zoom in here so you can see. So you've got like, you know, cricket, you've got um, tennis, basketball, a wave pool. Uh, you know, there's, there's talks of a lazy river. Um, then these are sort of like boating, uh, boating lakes. So here as well, some water. Um, so again, this is where the project is located. So you kind of have to, you kind of have to hurry up and send your expression of interest, like your EOI as it's called, as soon as possible to book um, or to sort of show your interest in the location that you would prefer. Like some people might want to be a bit more closer to the sporting center, the main, this sort of region here. Some people may want to be a little bit more on the quiet side and still have access to some of these so there's still got some sports facilities here as well, um, like you've got tennis and basketball here, for example. So, or you want to be more near to the fishing side, you really don't care much about that. Um, so it really depends. Like you know, you've got a um, a future mosque coming up here. Um, you've got other things here: a community center, a mosque, a drive-in cinema, a jogging track, children's play area. 
So a lot of these areas also have different things like barbecue area here. That's a barbecue area. That's another barbecue area. There's different things that are located in here. Um, and you could you could access these. Of course, some of these will be a bit far by walk. So you might have to drive or you might have to cycle around. There's a cycling track here. So let me just zoom out and give you the bigger picture. So here you've got sort of the school and the main entry point. And then here is a mall, um, which is about to be, uh, you know, uh, about to be coming as well. Paintball, which is something unique to have on site. Uh, a game zone here, not a green zone, sorry, a green zone on this side, which is the exit to Al Qudra Road. So you've got the entry from one side and then the exit to the other side. So again, a very nice concept, very nice community. It's it's humongous. The other uh, the other areas have also uh, been already on sale, and you know they're all sold out. So these these are these are going pretty fast. You know, so I would say you got to rush in and reserve your spot. You've got your global village, twenty five minutes away. Dubai Outlet Mall. Um, you know all these parks, worlds of adventure. Both airports are within reach. The only thing is if you want to go downtown, that's the only thing which will be slightly, it's going to take you a little bit longer, like 35 minutes in traffic, it will take you more than that. So just be careful about that. Um, but if you are like, you know, working uh, not directly in downtown or you don't have to drive there each time, uh, maybe just a couple days a week or so or something, then this would be ideal for you. Or if you're retired and you, or you're just doing something from home. So you've got, you know, the concept of Dubai Hills, they've got Watertown, Sportstown, and Downtown. They've got three areas. So sports is where all the main sports facilities, which I showed you. Watertown is where you had like the swimming, lazy river, and slow, kind of like a water slide, water park thing. And then Downtown is just the main sort of like lounging area. So here you can see, for example, this is the uh, sort of Watertown. So you got the lazy river, you got some area for kids with water uh things of that sort going on so all this is for example this water town you got some slides and things like that um this is the lazy river here you've got even surfing okay so that's what yeah there's 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 surfing areas if you want to get your surf on or practice that um jungle gym in the outdoor play areas there's little maze mazes for kids and so on um, so lots of cool things uh, that are going on. A fishing lake, which is very unique, that you can, a petting farm, a fishing lake, um, uh, the dog park, you know, uh, outdoor cinema. So there's, there's tons of sports here too. So you've got running, tennis, paddle, cricket, volleyball, basketball, football. So whatever sport that you can imagine, that's going to be here, not to mention boating, which is going to be really nice. Paintball, if you want to do that for fun, um, get some adrenaline, do some paintball. So here is what the plan sort of looks like, which I was talking about. So if you want to, you know, dive in first, you've got to, you know, go ahead and book one of these out and give me the actual uh, a unit number that you are looking for. Or just, you know, at least tell, talk to me and let me know so that I could put that um, in for you, put that order in for you and just reserve that spot. So this is again, uh, you know, as I mentioned, this is the location of those units and they've, they don't have that many units actually. So these are like about 50 units over here. So this is probably like 70. And so then in total, there's about like 300 units. So, and if you look at how much interest there is in this, there's like everyone in the world is looking to get into something like this. And I've talked about in my other video about the advantages of booking uh, you know, a place like a townhouse versus just a regular apartment. And you can see that from here, for example. So total, um, the area here, so I'll just tell you the numbers here. So, so you've got the actual um, square footage is about 1,500 square foot. And then the garage, balcony, terrace, and everything is 800. So total area is about 2,400. So, um, which is pretty decent the way they've planned it. So you can see this is how, this is how the ground floor is. So you've got the two different units. So this is a corner unit, which has a, which has a bit more space on the side. So these are a bit more pricier. So these would be like, you know, 2.2, 2.3 million 
versus this one would be like 1.9, 2 million, around average 2 million uh, dirhams. And uh, so as soon as you walk in, you've got a little study, the stairs, you've got laundry right there, which is great kitchen, so separate laundry area, and then a little like, you know, powder room or bathroom, uh, you know, so you've got the powder room basically. Um, living room, kitchen, patio. So this kind of opens up here. You can have your lounge, you know, your furniture, patio furniture here. Going into the first floor is where your bedrooms are. So you got your master bedroom with the bathroom, uh, closet here. Then you got the common bathroom right across the stairs. So it's easily accessible from the other two rooms. The other two rooms also have closet spaces assigned on these two sides bedroom the actual bed goes here enough space for dining for the uh, side tables and then these both have access to their like own balcony which looks to the back and then this uh this one here has a huge balcony uh, which it looks to the front so these two same units are assigned like that now if you're wondering where the next floor where the, the fourth bedroom is so fourth bedroom is right on the on the third floor on the terrace so you've got a huge terrace here looking towards the back. And the best part is this bedroom has their own bathroom. So that's really nice. I really like that. Uh, it's a little bit more private. So you, essentially you have like two master bedrooms because you that top floor is like essentially a bit more. So, you've, you, you know, so if you have, let's say, a family where you've got uh, maybe a relative or an extended family person and, you know, they want to stay a little bit more private so they could they could take that floor. Right. So that kind of or it could be like an extra guest room. All right, so that's it, folks. Thanks once again for watching. I hope you found this to be useful. Again, give it a like if you found this video to be useful. And uh, once again, uh, if you are interested in this project, don't forget to send me your uh, your expression of interest. Give Send me a message, basically, and I'll submit that for you on your behalf. And if you have any questions, again, uh, feel free to get in touch with me using the contact link below. All right, see you next time.